There are headliners, and then there are legends. Max Miner was both. I, I had to, I always worked. I never, I never, and every time, and every team I was on, it wasn't just come on in, you're, you got it made. <laughs> I had to, I had to buy with the rest of them. Miner grew up in Tohoka, Texas, a small town outside of Lubbock. Excelling in both football and track and field, he was the town's most accomplished athlete. He was known as the Terra Tohoka. It, it was it was mostly used in the papers. I mean, it wasn't used locally in town or in high school, unless they said it behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Recruited by legendary coaches Clyde Littlefield and football coach Dana Bible, Miner decided to leave the small town and head for the capital city. Love the coaches. Coach Littlefield was a track coach. The coaching staff was all were all lovely down there. Couldn't. Uh, Dana Bible, you know, had a had a wide record, and he was one of the most gentle, but he could raise his voice, too. <laughs> Miner's acclaim to Texas fame came in what was Texas's first bowl game ever, the 1943 Cotton Bowl versus Georgia Tech. Max Miner made Texas football history by scoring the first touchdown in Texas bowl game history. Yes, I had a first touchdown on a pass, and, uh, and I made another touchdown later. I might have some of that information I may have screwed up, but it, 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 it was in the books at one time. I just... I... But Miner left Texas after two seasons and decided to transfer to the military academy after proudly accepting a congressional appointment. It was a, it was a hard decision at the time, but I'm glad I did it. I didn't expect it, but all of a sudden it came. And... You can't pass it up. No, that's for sure. And while in the Army, Miner continued his playing career playing in the same backfield as Doc Blanchard and Glenn Davis. The trio helped the Army capture the 1944 national title and Miner garnered All-American honors. We had a real good team there. We, I don't remember what our, I don't think we got beat at all that first year. And second year, we ran over everybody like they were not on the field. <laughs> Miner honorably served his country as an Air Force pilot during the Korean and Vietnam Wars. After 32 years in the military, Miner retired as a high-ranking colonel. He has been in Austin for the past 21 years, and even though his speed has faded, the memories and legend never will. I did it all, <clears throat> and, and enjoyed it very much, I must say. Max, who was that special someone that influenced your life growing up? Well, my brother, this older brother, was four years older than I was, and then the next brother was four years older than him, and they were both good athletes.